All right, let's say I'm in a SQL rule monitor creation flow and I type my query um, and I test the query. Um, I can see that there is an error um, that the table does not exist or is not authorized. But now we have this um, nifty little button called fix with AI that may be able to help us. Um, when I click on fix with AI, in this situation, it's able to um, correct a little bit of a typo error that I made during typing. Um, and then when we test the query, um, the query is successful this time. Um, let's take another example. Um, over here, um, there is a, a regular SQL statement, but in this case, as you can see, um, there's a where um, class missing. Um, therefore, this will throw a syntax error. Um, again, uh, if we do fix with AI, the AI is able to recommend to us, um, or rather fix the syntactical error that we made. And I go ahead and accept the suggestion, and um, this time the query returned successfully. Uh, now, beyond just um, typos and syntactical errors, we can also start to do something a little bit more interesting, such as in this case, um, in my query, I've just typed the term yesterday as it was a variable. Um, and when I run test query, uh, obviously it does not identify what yesterday is. So when we do fix with AI, the AI tries to interpret what you mean by yesterday and convert it into a SQL syntax. So in this case, I accept the suggestion and test the query again. However, there is still um, some type of syntactical error um, so let me try fix with AI again. Um, the second time around, I can see that um, this interval um, syntax is the one, is the place where there is seems to be some issue. Um, but I can also see that the suggestion given by the AI might not actually fix um, the syntactical error, but it helps me identify where the error is. So instead, what I do is keep my original query and instead manually go and correct the error um, that I know. And um, this time we get a successful results. Um, the one last example that I wanted to show was a little bit more interesting. Um, as you can see in this query, um, we're actually using a little bit more of the natural language. So uh, in this case, you can see measurement timestamp greater than yesterday group results by full table ID. Um, Obviously, if we test the SQL query, we're going to get a bunch of syntax errors. But um, if we now do fix with AI, the AI will again try to interpret these um, natural language keywords and try to convert them to the corresponding SQL syntax. So in this case, I accept the query. I know the one day syntax error that it had previously given, so I manually correct that. I test SQL query, um, but I get an error again. Uh, but this is not exactly a syntactical error, but just telling me that this field is neither uh, an aggregate nor in the group by class. So I try to do fix with AI again. And this time around, the AI um, does pull out the right set of um, fields to select from the table. Um, so I go ahead and accept the suggestion again, um, test the query, and this time the query is successful. Um, so these are just uh, some basic changes uh, that we've currently introduced with fix with AI. Um, of course, we're going to continue to iterate on um, produce more complicated suggestions through AI. Um, so thanks for watching the demo.